How's it going? Uh, Josh Jauncey here with my brother, Jay Jauncey, brother and trainer. We're here at WKX, my family's gym, uh, in Surrey, BC, Canada. And today we're going to go through a few uh, jab counters, um, just a, so ways to, to stop people from getting their combination going in the first place. Most people start all of their combinations or attacks with a jab, so if we can stop it there in its tracks, we're one step ahead. Um, something that a great fighter once told us, Rob Carmen, he said if you've got multiple counters to one strike, then you can always keep your opponent guessing. So this is, uh, this is part of that. Yeah, so we'll start off here, the first one. Uh, I learned this one from uh, Andy Sauer, you'll see him do it a lot in his fights as well. This is called the, uh, we call this, what do we call this? Corkscrew. Call this the corkscrew, yeah. When he throws his jab, we're slipping our head to the inside of, the, of his jab and coming over the top with the overhand right, okay? When we're doing it, we're not swinging the overhand right, we're stepping in with it and we're just turning the arm around the punch. Okay, you want to think of your, your arm like a vine and his arm like a branch. Yeah, his arm is a straight branch, my arm is the vine that's coming around it. And we're trying to strike him either on the chin or if their chin is tucked, we catch them on the temple. Okay? So when he steps in to throw his jab, I also step in to the inside of my left foot. I step into the inside and I come over top here. As I'm doing it, I'm making sure I keep a gap between my shoulder and my chin so I can let his hand slide uh, past my shoulder. And one more time. Pull. Again. Let's see from the other side. Yeah, when he steps in, I'm also stepping in. Uh, a mistake a lot of people make is they, they step in, they try to do this from here. He'll catch you at the same time, or he'll catch you first. Yeah, so you have to step in, sort of uh, fight fire with fire. When he steps in with the punch, you step in with the punch as well. From there, you can continue on with more onto the combination. You can play with that yourself. Uh, personally, I like to come here, go to the deliver, and then finish with a low kick. You can go further on with the combination. You can go over top, deliver, uppercut, right hand. It's up to you. You play with it yourself. Next one. Uh, another one I learned in Holland uh, from Andy Sauer and also from the uh, boxing gym that we used to train at. It's called the Irish. Yeah. So the first time coming over top with the right hand and slipping onto the inside. This time we're also slipping onto the inside, which can be risky for some people, uh, but if you get the timing right, it's not too bad at all. This time we're slipping onto the inside and we're catching here with the left hand. We're coming a bit like an uppercut, but not quite. We're keeping the hand here. We're turning the wrist in, so we're hit or downwards. So we're hitting with the first two knuckles, boom, here. We're normally be going towards the chin, but right now we'll go more towards the chest just for training purposes. Uh, so when he throws, he steps in to throw his jab. I step to the outside and I'm turning my hips and my shoulders here. Okay, so his, his punch comes here in front of my face as I'm turning and I'm coming here through the middle. Okay, so again, I'm stepping at the same time as I punch and my hips are turning with it. From the other side. Yeah, once again with this one, you can follow up with whatever you like. Okay? Uh, some people feel it's dangerous because they feel maybe the right hand's there. But if you're cracking in with this one here, you can follow up very nicely with your own right hand and then continue on with your hook and your low kick or come into a high kick or a knee, whatever you want to do from there. Um, yeah, so you can play with that after you come in with this. Whatever you like. Uh, next. All right, next one. That's it. This one is a bit of a, maybe a signature for me. Uh, I like this one a lot. Um, I haven't seen too many people do this one. Uh, again, to the jab, counter the jab. When he throws the jab at me, I let him commit. Yeah, when he steps in, I'm gonna parry the jab, much like you would parry uh, a front kick. Yeah, or like you would parry a right front kick, I'm gonna parry his left jab the same way with my right hand. Okay, as he jabs, I'm gonna throw it away here. As I do it, I'm bringing my knee up the middle. Okay. Uh, when most people knee, they like to throw their right arm away anyways. Yeah, they bring their left arm here, and they throw their right arm away. 
I'm using that to my advantage when I, when I, when I block. Yeah? Here. Okay? I'm throwing it away anyways, but I'm getting his hand away at the same time. Okay? When I'm doing it, I'm making sure as I throw his arm away, I'm still covering my chin with the left arm in case he decides to come at me with the right hand. If he does come at me with the right hand, it's fine, it doesn't really matter. If my hand is there, my knee is going to reach him first. My knee is going to catch him up the middle first. So again. Go on the other side. Just off, okay. When I do it, I'm making sure that I'm clearing this. I'm opening up the middle. A lot of people when they jab, they'll tend to lean forward a bit as well. Here, oh, you catch them right up the middle. Most of the time they're falling into it when you do it. Here. One more. Nice. Next one I like. Huh? All right, next one. Last one for this series. Similar idea. I've got a guy who's trying to attack me, stepping in with a hard jab or hard punches. Most people, like I said earlier, start their combinations with a jab. So if he's stepping in with a jab, he could be coming in with a one-two, he could be coming in, jab, whatever else he wants to come with after. It doesn't matter, yeah? When he steps in with that jab, I'm gonna tap it down. Not across like normal, I'm gonna tap it down. As I tap it down, I scooch back, and bring out my right high kick. Okay. Just combining a bit of full work uh, with your, your, your defense with your hands. And when he steps in, I'm making sure to make that slide back. If I don't, it's going to be very hard for me to kick someone. Yeah? I have to go back with him. This is a, you have to be working your distance to be able to catch this timing well. Okay. When he steps in, I tap down, and this is leaving room over top for that kick. Ah, here. And especially if he's coming in with a one two, that will really make problems for him. But as he steps in with a one-two, boom, he's bringing his head over. A lot of people, you'll find when they throw that one-two, they don't bring their left hand to their face as they should. They're here. And that's going to open them up for this right high kick really well. Again. On the other side.